Hey there, Brian here, your friendly uh, electric e-bike, dirt bike, uh, Suron Talaria uh, helper, just trying to uh, bring another video, making a lot of videos uh, this month. But I want to show you, you know, when our fenders, I have a little bit larger, longer fender, but the fenders that come from the factory, like most dirt bikes, are kind of a polished plastic. And so very easy to get scuffs and scratches and very easy for them to not look very new or or uh, look really cool you know after a short amount of time so what i did to get some scuffs out of mine is you can either use steel wool or you can use a uh, you know a pad that has some abrillo effect on the back or um, and you want to get water and soap kind of just depending on the texture that you're trying to put on it you can do that dry and you'll get a little bit different results but i like to maybe make it a little more refined so I'm going to use the rough side of the pad and I'm going to come all the way front and back and I don't know about going in circles because I don't I don't think that would be successful so you want to keep the lines as straight as you can so uh, front to back front to back and just come in you can push on the bottom of the fender if you really want to push down and put some more more of this matte finish is going to be the result but just come down on the sides uh, and do this uh, you might need to do this for 10 minutes it's not something that just happens you know with a couple of up and you know back and forth motion you want to come in and you really want to dedicate uh, trying to match the straight back and forth movement get your finger down in the grooves if your fender has uh, you know uh, a shape to it other than just a, a duck bill shape but come in like that and I've already done this to mine, so uh, I'm not gonna have to do it as long, but I'm just trying to add a little bit more to it. Just experiment. You know, if your fender's already scratched up, no big deal. Um, but if it has really deep scratches and stuff like that, you're really gonna have to go after it with this to uh, try to knock that out. You're just gonna have to experiment. Um, another thing I'll tell you, you can use steel wool, but just, I, I think getting your fender wet is helpful. All right, then you'll get your clean, dry towel that you haven't dropped into the dirt or the gravel. Make sure you don't really have anything impregnated in your cloth. Come in and you can dry it off and check your results. It really makes the shiny plastic into a dull plastic and it puts little bitty fine scratches in it. Uh, and it makes it look textured. It's really, really cool. You might want to try to do it with yours. Mine will dry a little bit more uh, and won't be as glossy because of the moisture that's on it. But it definitely looks like flat, flat paint uh, or matte paint. And I did that on my front fender too. Let me show you. I've got my front fender hacked in pieces. Uh, took the, uh, so it's not a, a full motocross looking fender. Let me uh, turn that. So it does, it makes it just look uh, really matte finished is all I can, best I can say. And I did it on the rear right there. Whoops. You just spend a little time, you can really improve the look of your scratched up fender. Or if you just have a really shiny fender and you want to blanket, make it blend in more with the, uh, the black stealth look of the uh, e-bikes that are kind of coming out with uh, you know, the black. I mean, they're, they're all just kind of a matte black. They're not necessarily shiny. So why not have the fenders match uh, the, uh, the matte color of the rest of the bike? I think it's a really cool. I have fun doing it and bringing it to you. Let's see if you can see that a little bit better. And then you can even put some polish on it after you've done it and, uh, and make it look you know, even better. But thanks for tuning in. Have a great day. Hopefully you find this helpful. 
like and uh, check out more videos as they come out. All right, bye-bye.